Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Minecraft Design Academy. Today, we are going to cover depth, style, and materials, and how to use them. As you can see right now, this is the Symmetry in Town Hall, and it has everything that I'm going to be talking about today. It has depth, it has style, and the use of materials. What is depth? Depth is something that will add dimension to a flat surface which creates parallax. So what is parallax? Parallax is when your view appears different from different positions. Like for instance, if you go from left to right, the view of your structure changes as it goes. So that's what parallax and what depth can do for you. For example, here I have a plain wall with some wood columns and on the right side. And then on the left side, I actually added depth or dimension to the wall. And so when you go from left to right, you actually have parallax. The next example, I have a nice good size wall and I actually added depth to it which is actually just pushing walls out so many blocks so showing that you can go to the extreme on the depth and right now if you go from left to right like I'm showing you you can see the parallax of each block that happens and it creates just different views of the structure itself so as you can see from the top section, you can see how many blocks out I went to get this extreme parallax. And you can go that deep if needed on your structures. So it just depends on what you are building. Here I have a wall, just a plain window wall for maybe like a cathedral or castle. And as you can see, there's no parallax at all except for the window. Windows, I should say. <laughs> um, and you can see it's just a one block thick wall. And next to it is a wall where I actually added depth and dimension to it. Plus style. But that we'll get to that in a little bit. But as you can see, the, I, the parallax, it changes as you go left and right. And it adds depth and dimension to it as well. It just make, looks oh, so much better. So if you compare the two side by side, which wall would you go with? I'd say I'd go with the wall on the right hand side. <laughs> now we will be covering how to create your own style. And that is find something that inspires you and gives you ideas. So this pretty much goes back to before where you researched and gathered inspiration and all that. So, and you take certain parts, like, like let's say a little small section, like, like material that worked well together, or maybe something with stairs that you found pretty darn cool. You can take those little parts and take other little parts and combine them together and match, match and max together and to create your own style really and improve yourself and be like okay so i know how to take all this and then improve on it just keep on improving 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 and also take does not mean like take entire sections of a structure or build and calling it your own that's really considered stealing and we will actually be covering this in a future episode so here is the original crystal that I designed and built and from here my style just took off because I had figured out how to do depth and dimension to my advantage in Minecraft and with that combining with the start of my style which you can see I started using cobblestone pillars or fences for the little details between stairs and just started going from there and 
start creating this cool idea and style. And from the crystal style that I had, I went on and created my tower, which you can definitely, definitely tell where I got most of my style from my crystal. And I want to actually say that the crystal was the start of my style. And this tower was actually the flipping jump gate warp of my style. It just threw me way out there, out of my league, and, and made me actually start really considering what I can do with this kind of style that I have created. It's flipping amazing. Here I have three parts of my style, really, as you can see, from right to left. Uh, the right side is actually part of the style from the crystal. The middle section is the middle part, which is my wall, which is where I figured out how to create that after my tower. So here's the first part. It's actually just the upside down of the crystal, parts of the crystal, with the stairs and cobblestone fence. And then on the far left is a wall with my columns on it. And I can't remember if I saw someone do this, but they used glowstone behind like uh, quartz half slabs. And I thought that was pretty darn cool. And I was like, maybe I can start incorporating that into my builds as well. And so that's where I actually figured out how to do my columns. And the top section of my columns, I created myself once I figured out, oh, this is what it's gonna look like. And I can be like, oh, it looks something kind of like this or something that stands out. Rules for materials. These are my rules personally, I follow them. You, do, you guys don't have to, but keep them in consideration. Number one is I use two or more main blocks for my structure and the rest, the rest of the blocks as my details. Now for my main blocks, I go with contrasting blocks for my first two. So I use stone, stone bricks for my first one and my second one in consideration of my tower, I use the white stained clay so they are contrast and then the rest they are actually complementing the clay block. Now if we take a look at my tower, like I said just a few minutes ago, I used actually two tone or two main blocks and they're both contrast. So I used a stone brick with a white stained clay as you can see. And then I used a polished andesite, uh, stone slabs and cobblestone fences and a couple other blocks to accent and add detail to the tower. And also I use red stained clay as I would say a ten, uh, detail block as well. It's not really a main block I used but it's just to help accent the tower. Here I went with a different material. I tried going outside of my comfort zone in material use and actually tried using granite or granite that I haven't seen any other really people have used before and because it just does not look really good. But here I actually used it and it actually turned out pretty darn cool. So there are times where you can use blocks that don't look Good. But then when combined with others, they look absolutely amazing. So ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode where we covered depth style and materials. And I hope you are able to start creating your own style and everything. And please leave a comment down below on your thoughts and if you have any questions on what we covered today or anything else really. We will be doing a FAQ in one of these episodes. So until next time, have a great day.